What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ayomide, a lover of all things fashion. If you're new to this channel, you're absolutely welcome. On this channel, I post DIY sewing tutorials every week. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing us how I made this mesh ruffled sleeve. It is for an off shoulder blouse and it's going to come in this way because it is for an off shoulder blouse so i'm going to be taking us through how i made this ruffled sleeve in my previous tutorial i shared how i cut the sleeve i'm going to put a link in the description box for the tutorial the title is how to sew a six pieces blouse so in that video i showed us how to cut an off shoulder sleeve so in this tutorial we're going to be making the ruffles and i'm going to be taking us through how i made the ruffles if you haven't subscribed to this channel please hit the subscription button below and do not forget to turn on your notifications so that whenever i upload a new tutorial you can become notified now without much further ado let us get started I've gone ahead to cut out my off shoulder sleeve. I did the same for my lining and the fabric and my fabric is 2 inches longer than my lining. I've also gone out to cut out my mesh strips. I think my strips were about 54-58 inches long but I wasn't particular about the length. I was only particular about how wide I wanted the mesh strips to be and my strips were 8 inches wide. I made it this wide because I was going to be turning it over. I wanted to close the raw edges of the mesh strip so that it could have a neater outlook whenever I'm done. So I made it 8 inches long. So when I turn it over and I sew, I'll be having about 3, 3 and a half inches finally when I'm done. So I secured all the raw edges of my mesh strips for about 28 strips of mesh that I cut out. And once I'm done, I trimmed off all the excesses along the edges. This is so that by the time I want to turn it over, I'm going to have a neat look even on the inside. It's going to appear very neat on the inside. So to turn it over, I just grab one end of the mesh and then push it inside. And you can use something as a guide. In my case, I use a screwdriver that came with my sewing machine and it made my work easier and faster for me i don't have to struggle with the mesh so i turned over all of my 28 strips of mesh honestly i must tell you it was a lot of work so once i'm done i'm going to sew in with a loose stitch right in the middle of my mesh strip so using a loose stitch this enables me to form gathers later on but bear in mind that this is just one of the ways to form gathers you could use needle and thread you could use a gathering foot a gathering foot equally makes your work faster if not the fastest method to actually form gathers so once i'm done sewing in the loose stitch on my mesh strips i'm going to be forming my gathers and to form my gathers just pick one of the thread at one end and pull in gently because if the thread should snap i'm sorry but you would have to start all over again so i pulled in gently all of my strips and if you'll be using this procedure that i use please i would advise you to make sure you've eaten well take a chill pill sit down relax and then pull your thread to form your gathers because sometimes it could get tiring and boring at times but since your stitch is loose it becomes easy so I'm, I've already, I'm done pulling my strips and I'm trying to arrange my ruffles and this is the outcome of the ruffles. For my sleeve, on the right side of my sleeve, I'm going to mark out all of my seam allowances because we are going to be sewing the mesh on the right side of the sleeve. So I'm marking out 1 inch by the side, 2 inches at the end of the sleeve. I'm marking out my seam allowances because we are not going to be sewing along we're not going to be sewing on the seam allowance area i'm going to be sewing on the sleeve excluding the seam allowance region i'm also marking out one inch at the apex of the sleeve i realized that one inch was actually too much so you could add half inch at the apex of your sleeve over there so picking up a two i'm just going to spin it down and then sew along that side so i'm not sewing along my seam allowance i'm sewing excluding my seam allowance just that area in the middle of the sleeve 
so i'm just going to sew in gently and when you're sewing you're going to be using a tight stitch just to secure your mesh and once one mesh is finished you could easily add up another mesh to it i'm still on my job still trying to fix in my mesh and my tool i think it took me about an hour to work on one sleeve that's a total of two hours for the both sleeves and this is the outcome of the sleeve at the end of the day you could see the seam allowance that we already mapped out now to cover up our sleeves neatly i'm going to pick up my lining and sew along half inch seam allowance that i added there at the end then once i'm done i'm going to match up my lining to my sleeve because my main fabric is two inches longer than my lining this is because i want my fabric to turn over so that my lining will not be showing it gives a neat finishing when your lining doesn't show and i'll sew in by my one inch seam allowance that i added i realized one inch was too much so you could use half inch and trim off the excesses just like i did so i'm done sewing and i'm turning it inside out and this is the outcome of the sleeve it's so beautiful it's so beautiful i love the way the colors popped and the way the ruffles came out beautifully now to close the end of the sleeve you're going to place your fabric mesh facing mesh right side facing right side open it up and make sure fabric faces fabric and lining faces lining this was the same way i closed up my six pieces blouse in my previous video i'm going to be putting a link in the description box for that video so securing all of my sleeves with a pin i'm going to sew in by my seam allowance of one inch sewing your sleeve this way gives it a neat finishing because all of your seam lines will be concealed they will be hidden and it gives a professional outlook at the end of the day so this is the sleeve when we are done i actually love the outcome of this sleeve this is it when we are done and this is the armhole region where I will be fixing to my blouse. So turning the sleeve inside out, you would see that the seam lines are not showing. Like I said, all of the seam lines are properly hidden and concealed and it just gives your work a neat finishing. If you're making this for somebody, it tells the person that you actually know what you're doing, you know your job. So it gives it a neat finishing. I love the neat finishing of clothes so to fix my sleeve to my blouse i'm going to grab my blouse align the seam lines at the appropriate places and secure it with a pin so that i don't have to struggle with the blouse and the sleeve on the sewing machine because the sleeve alone is bulky and the blouse itself has some weight so securing my sleeve to my blouse with the pin i'm going to sew in by my seam allowance of half inch and this is the outcome of the sleeve if you have been inspired by this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe thank you so much guys for watching this video till the end i'm going to be putting the links to my various social media platforms in the description box so please make sure you click on those links and let us connect i'm address a facebook group of over forty thousand designers and aspiring designers and on that group we share various sewing tips and various sewing tutorials even i myself i have learned a lot from that group so the link is also in the description box below just click on those links if you happen to work on any of my tutorials if you happen to try them out whenever you're posting please tag me especially on instagram so that i can repost your work and i'm waiting to see your work and until my next video goodbye